Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Vial video. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, something that came up here recently on the Elementor forum, uh, not forum, Facebook group. And that is uh, Orphan Columns uh, on uh, tablet displays. And that means is uh, if you want, if you have say three columns like we have here, and uh, actually two rows just like this, and uh, on uh, the tablet display, you just want to have two rows show because three would squish it down too much, uh, but two would be fine. What happens is, uh, yeah, you can set the uh, column widths now. Uh, those for 50 and 50 and you can set whatever else you want but the problem is this one will come in underneath and uh, this one will not flow up into underneath this one if you know what I mean let me just show you what we're talking about here that might uh, make it a little easier so let's go over to here got the page set up and I with Elementor so to uh, replicate what I had there, let's say you went here, uh, three columns, and I'm just going to use a uh, icon box for this, and uh, let's just duplicate that, and again, okay, so that's what we have, and uh, we're going to have two rows of that, oops, I didn't want to do that, actually what I wanted to do. Uh, was duplicated. There we go. So let's save that. And we'll go over here to uh, Screenfly from Quirk Tools. I'm going to use for this because we're going to be uh, looking in different uh, screen sizes. So um, I've got it set up now to a 24 inch desktop. So let's uh, refresh. And uh, here we go. So let's say we want to uh, see what it looks like on the iPad. And there's three, and that's not too bad. Uh, but sure enough, you get over that size, and uh, instead of doing it uh, 50, well, we haven't set anything up, it'll stack them. Which I suppose isn't that bad, but uh, depending on your content, might not be what you're looking for. Okay, so let's go back to that. So what you'd normally think you'd do is come over to here, uh, select the column, uh, click here, go to tablet, right, and enter 50. And do the same on this one. Yep, that's what we're wanting. And do the same on this one. Okay. But now if we go over here and do the same on here, uh, you can see it's not flowing up into this empty or orphaned uh, column. Same here. You can uh, whoop, uh, do that to all of them and it's not going to make a difference. Right, so we'll save that. And actually I just found out uh, in doing the test for this. Uh, here's the reload or refresh button. And we'll go back onto the iPad. And, uh, oh, it did this time. Okay. So you see what's happening here. Uh, we have this orphan column or location. And uh, there was switch uh, orientation. This is such a handy uh, little program or, or web app. Uh, and anyways, oh, let's refresh. I always do that and get the two mixed up. But anyways, that's what's happening so I'll just go back to desktop for now well let's see if we can't fix that oh I don't want to go there I want to go back to the desktop so let's get rid of this where our delete all content yep now we're going to add a new section, a one column section. And into that one column section, we're going to drag uh, our icon box or the content. 
Now we're not going to do anything with the column. Okay. All we're going to do here is go to the section, to the advanced tab, and we're going to give it a class, a CSS class name. And we're going to, for this example, call it one dash call for call and save. You say, well, what's that going to do? Well, we won't go and look now because we really uh, haven't done anything, but we have six uh, column blocks that we want to display. Right? We have two sections of three columns each. So we'll need six of these. So let's uh, do some duplicating. So that's two, three, four, five, six. And there they are. And we'll go save. And we'll go back to ScreenFly and do a refresh. And there they all are stacked just the way you saw them in the preview. That's uh, The other one was better almost, wasn't it? Well, we're going to fix that with some CSS. I don't have to do that because I've got it right here. <laughs> Force of habit. So we'll go over to my other monitor here and where I have uh, Notepad++ running with the, the CSS I'm going to use. Just going to copy it from there and then paste it into here. So what we're going to do here is our first block. It says one call. That's our class name for the section. And of course, the class starts with a period. Uh, and we want to display it in line block and relative and with a width of 33%, right? You say, yeah, but that's a third. I won't. I want 50%. Uh, yeah, well, be patient. That's coming. Because we wanted a third to display it like this. Right normally on a desktop. But on the iPad, it's still going to squish it to three. And even squishier on there. And if you go look on the phone, it's mega squishy. So, all right. That's where a little bit more CSS comes into play. I'll go and get my other little block, and we're going to have to do a media query on this one. So we're going to say at the max width of 1024 pixels, which is your tablet uh, landscape, uh, we're going to say the width is 50. Let's go and have a look. And we'll refresh it on the desktop. Make sure that's still the same. Go back to the iPad. And there you go. Two columns. And there's no orphan. And that's how that works. We'll switch the orientation. And it's still two columns. But what about the phone? Well, that's going to be a little different. It's still two columns, too, which means that we're going to have to add a little bit of extra CSS, which I just happen to have right here over in Notepad++. I'm going to paste it in here. And we're going to say at 320 for the uh, iPhone or the mobile size, uh, we want it to be 100% at that size. Okay, so save that. Uh, wrong one. <laughs> and uh, refresh. Did I save that? I bet you I didn't, did I? Too many stuffs going on. Try that. And re refresh it. Oh, okay. But on the five, on the five, it's good. But on the six, uh, we'll have to do it a little bit better. It says 375. 
Well, let's go see if we can fix that. I'm sure there's a way you can do it. Um, together, but let's try it apart. It's easier to see that way. And refresh that. And there you have one column. And we'll go that way, and we should have two. And go back to the five, just to make sure that's working with one. Okay, we should have two. And on the iPad, we have two in landscape and two in tablet. So that's pretty much about it. It's just the CSS and the different uh, breakpoints and uh, making just the section being the block, uh, a one column block for your content. Okay. And of course, uh, all that code and everything and a little bit more explanation will be on the uh, page there in the Sniffle Valve site and then the link will be in the uh, uh, description of the video. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps and uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for Sniffle Valve as well as on the uh, Sniffle Valve site here, you know, way down at the bottom. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a little jab there for something else but anyways that's it for now and thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time bye bye